here from Northumberland Zoo and Sarah and thank you very much for joining us for week two of our virtual education lessons we hope you enjoyed last week's session about habitats and adaptations and if you missed it the link is in the comments below so you can have a little look at it um, we learned all about the different adaptations of the raccoons the snow leopards and the meerkats now we know that Imogen and Robin were at home studying really hard and working alongside us and that made us super happy to see that. So we would love to see if any of you guys are following along at home. So send us an email at learning at northumberlandzoo.co.uk. Absolutely. And so today's session is all about what makes us unique and what makes the different animals at Northumberland Country Zoo unique as well. Yeah, we've got over 500 animals here at the zoo, over 100 different species. So we've organised them into our top five and we're going to be focusing on their unique traits. So these are traits that no other animals in the animal kingdoms have. The world's largest rodent, the cat with the longest tail, the dog with the only furry feet. And at the end, we've got a little project for you as well. Yeah, and Maxine's just mentioned some of the words that we'll be using in today's session, which are going to run along the bottom of your screen now. To start off our unique trait countdown, we are at number five. The Arctic Fox. We have two Arctic Foxes, we have Hamish and Dougal. The Arctic Fox is the only canine that has a fully furred paw, so how does that help the Arctic Fox? Where the Arctic Foxes are coming from is right up in the Arctic Circle, so it's freezing, it gets to minus 70 degrees. So could you imagine having your bare hands walking on the snow at minus 70? I couldn't. So by having a fully furred paw, that means that all of their pads are protected from the cold. Now what's really interesting about that is that this is the only canine that has a fully furred paw. So even polar bears don't have it. That makes it incredibly unique then. Yes, very unique. At number four we have the harvest mouse. They're the smallest UK rodent and the only UK rodent to have a prehensile tail. Harvest mouse are found in long grasses and in order to access the best food at the tips of the grasses they need to use their tail, they wrap it around the stems of the grass to hold on while they reach for the seeds. They also like to put their nests high up in the grasses so it gives them an extra limb. It's almost like having three arms and two legs. Um, so the prehensile tail automatically wraps around and it's the only British species that does that. At number three, we have the great grey owl. The great grey owl is the largest owl in the world and it has the largest facial disc. Now this is a circular shape of feathers that goes right round their eyes and what it does is it channels the sound into their ears. they're able to pinpoint the sound of mice buried underneath the snow. So when they use their facial disc, it actually acts like a satellite dish and it channels all the sound into their ears and they can pinpoint underneath the snow and then when they launch their feet through the snow, they can grab their prey really easily and quickly. So that's a very unique trait. At number two, we have the snow leopards. And the snow leopard, as you might remember from last week, they have the longest tail of any cat. There's two different reasons a snow leopard has such a long tail. Number one is perfect for balance, so they can use that as a counterbalance as they chase their prey through the mountains and through the rocks. 
Number two is because it's so cold where they come from, so when they curl up in a ball and they're ready to go to sleep, they can then wrap their tail right round their head and their face and keep their face nice and toasty warm. We're on our lemur woods for our number one unique adaptation here at Northumberland Zoo. Yeah, this is our favourite unique trait and it's a bit of a mystery one as well. The name might give you a hint about what it's about. It's a ring-tailed lemur. We have some theories about why they have ring tails. What are those theories? Well, it's a bit of an unusual one because obviously out of all 103 species of lemurs in Madagascar, there's only one species of lemur that has rings on its tail. And some scientists think that perhaps maybe one girly just really fancied a boy that had a bit of black and white on his tail, so therefore he got to breed. And always the prettiest, most gorgeous lemurs get to breed. So over the years, we think that they've added more and more rings to their tails. So now there's between 12 and 13 stripes on every single ring-tailed lemur. And what's really cool about that is it makes them very iconic and very, very popular. Everyone loves these guys, especially Ralph. So now you found out what our number one unique species is at the zoo, why don't you drop us a comment down below and tell us what your favourite unique species was. We'd also challenge you to take part in our activity as well. Yeah, so in the description below there's a link to our website which is where you'll find the worksheet where you get to design your own species. Have a think about what would make your species unique, think about that adaptation and why it would be beneficial as well. We really want to see creative, arty entries and if you could send them through to us to learning at northumberlandzoo.co.uk we would love to feature some next week. And speaking of next week's show, we'd love you to join us on our virtual lesson where we'll be learning all about a day in the life of a zookeeper. The zookeeper's life is a very exciting life, getting to prep food, pick up poop and watch their animals. So find out more next week. Uh, mm -hmm. If you haven't already, please do remember to like and subscribe to our channel um, and then you'll get updates of when our next videos are out. Um, but until next time, thank you so much and we'll see you then. We've come down here to our arctic fox enclosure where we have Hamish and Dougal that live here. No, don't bite the camera. <laughs> Do not bite the camera. That would not be good. That would smash instantly and I'll be dead. No. It's probably that fluffy thing. Isn't it, it will yeah. be. I want the fluffy. Hi everyone. It's Maxine here from Northumberland Zoo and this is my colleague Sarah. Do I need to say anything? I feel like you do. Yeah, what should I say? My name is Sarah. <laughs> <laughs>